Welcome to Chummy Creek. So I'm Larry, and it's 3.15 a.m. right now. I'm on my way to meet Jason Wolf with Wolfhead Outfitters, and we're going to run the river. He messaged me a couple of days ago, said he was free. So we're going to get together and throw around a bunch of top water today. Hopefully they just smash it like they have in the past couple of videos. on a jig. Finally. Whoa. Little dude. Hmm, about 11 inches. Toss him back. Got another one, huh? Yeah. Where did it go? Yeah. That's the one that smacked it, so I threw that jig out there. Whoa. Oh, my video wasn't running. There it is. That's a good one. Get a length on this bad boy. God, oh. 17 and a half. That's a good one. That's at least three pounds. I'm gonna go ahead and toss him back. I don't wanna sit here and keep him out too long. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about it happening when it happened. Yeah. I literally started one hand in that rod and started one hand in this paddle. <laughs> right. Do you know what I mean? And it bought me this fish. <laughs> if I wouldn't have been able to do what I just did, there's no way I would have caught this thing. Stellar. First volley of the day, I'll take it. Chunker. Another one on the popper? Yeah, dude, they're hitting this thing. Yeah, yeah right. Way on the pod. I would almost say change that whopper popper out for one if you can. Yeah, I probably can. I, I'm pretty sure I put one in here. I might even have a couple. But they're hitting it. They're committing to the popper and they're not committing to the whopper popper. Yeah. Hell? Oh, a turtle. What, you caught a turtle? Yeah, snapping turtle, dude. No way. I just threw it over there and this thing drilled it. <laughs> Tell me you got that on video. Yeah. He drilled it. That's <laughs> a first, bro. Yeah. I think he's probably going to be keeping that. That is 
said first, bro. I've never seen that before. Yeah. Yeah, now, this was in its mouth. I tried to get it out, and then the line broke, and then the jig slipped, and so he's got it. <laughs> yeah, he can have it too, right? Yeah, unfortunately. I mean, you know, no matter what it is, you ain't trying to do that, you know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that jig again. I knew something would be right there around that root wall. I just got this guy off the of camera. Look at that bad boy. That's nice. I don't know what it is. Let's check it out. Fourteen and three quarter. I'll take it. Tubby too. Easy a pound and a half there. Whoa, dark belly. Put them back. You want to catch one of those? Get a hold of Jason here. He'll get you out on the river. Put you in the spot. He's even the one that told me about this jig. Did you? I sat here and watched him come up and get it. I just kept jigging this thing. There we go. Another one. Hiding behind a little rock over there. Let's toss him back. Whew, it's a good time right there. There it is. Look at that. He taught me how to use this thing in three minutes. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Calm it down now. Decent little large mouth. Yeah. It really is like there's a rhythm to it and like the little. Some guys fish them on bait casters, but I prefer them on the fish. Whoa. Tubby little dude. I believe that's the first bass I've caught on a popper. Let's toss him back. Other than that, I caught green sunfish one time. Really? Yeah. But that's pretty cool though. Dude, it's one of my favorite ways of fishing. Yeah. But that means nobody floats it. Yeah, that's for sure. And my I've... homie caught a 21 inch large knife. Nice I was saying, I doubt anybody walks it. You know what I mean? Yeah, not really. Just, just in case. I ain't trying to get that hook in me either. <laughs> this little guy smashed it. I mean, what a great color, though. Black tips on the tail there. Just toss him back. Tubby, too. And takes off like a champ. <laughs> All right, another smallie here. Beautiful dark one. I'll go ahead and toss it back. Had the camera off here, over here, just jibber jabbering. <laughs> well, that's going to do it for this one. What a day. I had a blast. I appreciate you taking me out again, showing me the ropes, putting me on some fish. Uh, I mean, just a good time, you know. We didn't catch a ton of fish, but he did. I mean, he probably caught 20 of them. That topwater popper was working great for him. I've never used it. I guess one time I used it, and that was on a challenge, and uh, I ended up catching a green sunfish. So today's the first time I used it for bass fishing. And we were tossing around that whopper plopper, but it just didn't get smacked. So he started throwing around that popper, and I mean, he got hammered a lot. I probably should have put that on way earlier, but 
I just hung up on that jig, you know. I caught a couple of good ones on it. And a lot of, a couple of them wasn't even, I didn't even have the camera going, you know. Just kind of drifting around, getting ready to go down a set of rapids or something, and then think, well, let me cast over here and then get one, you know. That's how it happens, though. Hopefully, we got a couple of them on the camera for you. And uh, if not, we'll just try to do better next time, you know. <laughs> good luck, everybody. We'll see you.